hi everyone welcome into this new video uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix your econ windows uh, is not working uh, by plus five method so just follow this video guys into the end and don't skip any minute so let's start guys let's start with the solution number one uh, restarting the windows explorer in order to do that just uh, open your task manager here as you can see and here search for windows explorer here is the windows explorer here click or start then you need to verify if the problem was resolved as you can see my problem was resolved within the first step if not just let's go and now let's go and try the solution number two restarting the let's try to restart the audio service in order to do that just press windows r and here uh, type service dot emis c copy this paste it here to this table of services and here search for windows or you Here is the Windows Oreo here. Type right click on property and here make sure that the startup type is automatic and also make sure that the service that you is running. If you find the server disabled man or, or manual uh, set it up as automatic and click on apply apply and then click on ok then try again with your volume sound if it's working if not just go ahead to the step to the solution number three and we will go and try update uh, the audio driver in order to do that just uh, open the command prompt here and run it as administrator click on yes and here we need to type this small command here to open this file then click enter and here the sound panel will open and here we need just to make sure uh, who is the playback what is the playback device for our PC on the settings so here as you can see I have speaker high definition audio devices if you have something else like a, a, a third part software or VB audio cable just make sure to select your speaker as a default devices then we need now to go to device manager click OK and here you will find audio input and output devices here search for your default device as you can see my default device is speaker high definition audio device here is my default audio device type right click and here click on update driver click 
click on search automatically for a driver and just make sure that you have internet connection is turn it on on your PC the best driver and here I get that the best driver are already installed if you have uh, this option for search for update driver on Windows update just click on it again and here you will click for check update and then update drivers for your PC and then restart your computer and try again if your problem was resolved if not let's go ahead and uh, navigate to the solution number four so for the solution number four let's try to run the audio troubleshooter in order to do that just press windows plus i to open the windows settings and here search for update and security search for troubleshooter here as you can see click on it on additional troubleshooter you'll find plain audio click right click here on the plain audio you will find run the troubleshooter click on it and wait for the windows troubleshooter to detect the problems of your audio and fix and uh, the, the system will fix them automatically Let's click on next click on yes now click on close and then test if your system audio is fixed if not if not just let's go and navigate into the solution number five and we will try to enable the the legacy volume control slider and this is the last uh, solution to do and also I don't think that you're gonna be in the worst cases you're gonna be here uh, click on Windows plus R and then uh, type rigid it as you can see here then click OK click on yes so here in the registry editor try to navigate to the current version click OK and we are now on the current version as you can see now uh, type on current version and choose new here and then name it name it in TCUVC here name name it like this let's click right click on this blank space and click on new and here let's create a dual 32 bit value and rename this enable mtcuvc like 
like this here double click to change and make sure the value is zero and then click on ok and then close the registry and make sure that your volume is is uh, working so thank you guys uh, for watching this video uh, if your problem was fixed don't forget to comment me on youtube and if your problem was resolved don't forget to comment me on the comment and tell me uh, what solution uh, that resolved your problem thank you and don't forget to subscribe into this channel if you want more tutorial about how to fix problems on windows thank you guys for watching